Okay, here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time with our Dark Horse, Hecarim in the Jungle. So sadly, no more custom skin for him, which is a real shame because I... I looked, all of his skins suck, man. I was I looked forward to Elderwood, but I saw how crappy the graphics were on that. And Riot wants, I think, 1350 for that skin. I wouldn't even give 750 for that thing. So as a result, we're down to base Hecarim. By the way, new patch, new runes... Although there's only one of them in play. So, first things first, Jarvan was our last pick. He locked in Jarvan, who doesn't fit our team comp. So our win condition now is win early, or Mundo becomes invincible and we can't do anything anymore. So we'll have to see how this pans out. But anyway, I'm Hecarim in the jungle against Udyr, and this is Flex Q. So for Hecarim, if you're wondering what changed on him, then I'm giving him a shot. The Talisman. Since Udyr may be a little bit distracted trying to fight over Scuttle Crabs, I'm thinking I might be able to just farm a little bit better, maybe sneak one by him. We'll see. I'm not even going to try to get the bottom one. I'm just going to take Q, get E at level 2, and then work my way up top. So I already said Q at level 1. You want the Talisman because it's AoE. It's going to allow you to clear the Chicken Camp pretty quickly, and the Talisman gives you more mana regen than it used to. So I'm hoping that will actually be enough for me to go full Whirly Bird, but there's no telling. It says up to 8 mana per second, but that's if I'm at 0 mana, so yeah. As for when I'm running, Predator, Sun Impact, this only works off of my ult, I think. It might actually, no, it works off of the E charge, that's right. Then Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter, because this is new and, well gives me more CDR for my ult. And then over here you have options. I went Coup de Gras and Triumph just because, yeah, <laughs> nothing real fancy. It's just I figure I can try to assassinate people. Um, in terms of math-wise, what I actually need to try, this is theory crafting. it's on my to-do list, go Sorcery instead with Celerity and Nimbus Cloak. That way when I ult in, I get a bunch of movement speed that in turn empowers Warpath and Celerity, and I might be able to just spike someone down. If I can emphasize enough, this is theorycraft. That it sounds good on paper, but in practice, there's no telling. Actually, it doesn't matter. So it'd be nice if Thresh were up here to help with the leash. That way, I can clear this a little bit more safely and a little bit more quickly. So you might hear my brother screaming in the background. Believe it or not, he's actually on the other side of the house. So when I complain about distractions, hopefully that puts a little bit more into context for you. So that is really good news for us. Anyway, I can activate this now. I need to make sure that it didn't expire before I got here. For a second there, I thought he was going to attempt some cheese on Udyr and I was about to ride shotgun, but no. He did just jump on Lissandra. I'll jump over to that. So yeah, the whole premise here was, for one, I can interrupt the crab with my E. I don't really need the W at level 2 because it doesn't do that much early. And I don't have to completely mess up my jungle path. Yeah, your W is so bad, man. If they're gonna give Hecarim any buffs or rework stuff, that's the place to start. So one thing that I definitely don't like about the new jungle is in order to...
play to the objectives, you have to take very suboptimal paths. Hey. So if you're wondering what I mean by that, if you notice, I went from chickens to scuttle crab, and then I'm working my way back down. It would just be a lot better if they spawned later in general. Like, if Riot's not going to just completely admit, yeah, we fucked up, our bad, this is the next best thing. And holy crap, man. Ward, motherfucker, buy one. So yeah, she may have actually eliminated herself from the game. I'm a little surprised that's there. I want the wolf camp, though. Which, of course, isn't here. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the chicken camp and then go back. Blue buff has just expired. Now your W, I guess, is a little bit helpful for just a little bit more AoE damage here. It's just still nothing to really write home about. So first things first. The whole delayed EXP crap is really bad for junglers that need the level 6 power spike, like, oh, I don't know, Hecarim, or Vi, or Nocturne, or... Hey, there's actually a list, who would have guessed? And I do have to give a special shout-out to Diana. If you didn't know, she got a buff, wink wink, in the newest patch. Her passive now has 10% more attack speed to offset what she doesn't get from the machete anymore. So if you're wondering why I say that's not really a buff, it doesn't fix the worst problem. So yeah, there's his flash. Overall, it's not really an issue for me. We got his flash that's going to technically hurt him a little bit more. i going to grab this. It's just I need to hope she realizes the tent is right here because this is their linchpin to winning. And if you're wondering what I mean, if Mundo gets fed and builds tanky like this, we don't have a way to kill him. Period. We're all AD. So yeah, as of the new patch, I don't know why, but my frame rate is crap. Take it. So we see Udyr down bot. That means Scuttle Crab is up for grabs. This gives me up to 8 mana per second, so they don't actually tell you what it is. That sucks. But one issue is, as long as Lissandra has her back to the tower, there's nothing I can do for that lane. The one I'm going to try to influence is probably going to be top lane.
Keep them guessing. Or not. Dominating. So until I can finally become online... So we could look to take that ourselves if we so choose. So notice I didn't even use Predator or Ghost. So I think Predator would tell him that I'm coming. Right there we got to blindside him like he tried to do in our jungle. So the sad part is I don't have my E for this. <laughs> When I go back, I want to get the um, Bami Cinder as well as hopefully a Sheen. Actually, I don't have enough for both, space wise. Grab that. And the lane I want to go for next is the bot lane. Okay, I thought he was going to crow storm in, which is why I was still barreling down there, but no. What is going on there, people? Check it out, Thresh finished his quest around the same time I got my jungle item. Max E second, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we broke her stopwatch, that's right. So right there I kind of had to layer everything. I had to make sure that I could knock her away from tower so we could go for her. I wanted to tank the tower since I'm tankier than Jarvan. Plus I'm just duck into the jungle, heal, find a fruit in the river. All is well with the world. Uh-oh. Fiddle gave them the bird! I wonder if you guys are tired of that joke yet. wants that, he can have it. Dude has totally earned that. Going for my chickens is a bit too far, though.
Sorry, force of habit. So yeah, because he's able- ooh, he did go for it. So if you're wondering, Hail of Blades is basically a buff for anyone using Bloodraiser. This does include Shivana, so I'd argue that there's finally a rune for her that's... decent. <laughs> But you've, if you want to do Bloodraiser Nocturne, Bloodraiser Udyr, anyone who builds Bloodraiser, Hail of Blades is really good. Ooh, you disarmed yourself, Mundo. That's awkward. <laughs> so I feared him into the blade wall so that he couldn't auto-attack. When he can't auto-attack, he can't use his E. I didn't actually think he'd hit it, but I was hoping that I could have gotten him in that, and it actually did work. So I need a little help taking this. Udyr just died. That's an Infernal coming up, by the way. to stack. That works. Legendary. Never mind. So anyone got a moment? So by not ranking up the W, it doesn't actually heal me anymore, which is one of the reasons why I'd say if there's going to be a buff, a rework or something, get rid of this W, man. It does nothing. So my eyeball collection is not coming along very well due to the whole stomp going on. Good god, man. So I said our win condition was win early, but damn. Is she actually winning that? Damn near almost. Hi. Oh my god. So I don't know what type of boot I want. Like, Udyr's doing the best and he's building attack speed, so... Ninja Tabby is most effective against that. It's gonna block 12% of every single attack he makes. Thing is, I do need to get level 11 so I can get the uh, rank 2 ult, and what is the... Oh, that's the Stormraiser. So I read what this did, I just never saw the icon for it. Mundo. His build is a bit all over the place. Can you come a little over here. I still get his stack, it's just I want Fiddle too. I'm greedy. So that's a little bit of extra AD for me. 
There's Man Bear Pig. I know Heroic Rescue. So I'm going bot to join up with the Herald. Be nice if someone went top. <laughs> it's going to kind of allow them to trade even. I'm probably going to die here, by the way, because I'm going to dive in if... that happens. So I want to say the Cinder Hulk burn does count towards the healing I get from my W. There we go. Your turret has been destroyed. Like, I have no idea why Aurelia is top when Udyr is mid. Ally has been slain. What are you doing? So she handed two towers over, well, one and a half for free. So as you can see, the jungle is still not really a fun place to be. Third Infernal coming up. So wow. So she screwed around top, she got literally nothing for it, she gave up a kill, she gave up a mid lane tower. What is Aurelia thinking? Because from here, it looks like she isn't thinking. This is going to be the last thing I take before I recall. This one you need to show up for, Lucian, because we probably will have a fight. Mundo has his Sunfire, he has his Tabby. We need someone to interrupt the Crowstorm channel. That worked. I don't know if he actually channeled, but it still stopped him. Anyway, that's the third Infernal. No more will spawn. Next up is an Earth Dragon. So my ult did get wasted there. Grabbing that. So I am going to grab the chicken camp real quick for EXP. I do sorely need it. He would go cleaver, but yeah, that's fine. 
one still. Jarvan going man mode. So I don't have Demolish, but the one thing I do have is just a Sheen. And they let that damn bird bounce all through us. Fiddle seems to be scarier than Lissandra. So the annoying thing here is Udyr's gained lane EXP. That's why he's so far ahead of me in CS, while I have to farm like a pleb in the jungle. Grabbing this. So I can say in retrospect it would have been better off going for Merc Treads just based on how much they're kiting and everything. So that gives 70% damage reduction, which is utterly insane. So I think I'm just missing the fiddle stack. Yeah. So, Baron buff has expired. That hurt my feelings. Grim in the jungle. Got dance on their base so they know who the boss is. And this was a lot easier just due to how soundly Lucian stomped the Draven. So I'm going to throw that on him.